Well, did you ever think Trump derangement syndrome would escalate to Stalinist show trials? To the overt weaponization of government agencies sicked on political adversaries? Because here we are. Why did the FBI raid Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate? Well, here's the TLDR version. The deep state and the regime are increasingly terrified at the mere prospect of Trump running again and winning. They've seized control of every branch of the federal government and staffed it with NKVD-style enforcers. The FBI raided Trump Trump under the dubious auspices of a supposed investigation into Trump taking classified documents when he left office. But the 15 boxes of documents that Trump took from the White House were returned to the National Archives back in January. And the safe that the FBI broke into was reportedly completely empty. But that doesn't seem to matter. Even an absence of documents could be used to claim that Trump deliberately destroyed them. And I'm sure that the FBI would never plan anything would they? Trump is then convicted of mishandling White House records, faces up to three years in prison, and under US Code Title 18, Section 2071, anyone guilty of this shall forfeit his office and be disqualified from holding any office under the United States. And that's it, Trump 2024 is finished. They could also use the raid as a fishing expedition to bolster the flagging foundational myth that Trump incited or planned January 6th. Breaking, FBI finds 200 corpses, four quad trillion terabytes of CP and personal journal where former President Trump wrote, quote, I will march on Congress and break as many laws as possible on January 6th at Mar-a-Lago. Others note that the massive overreaction and dubious legality of raiding Trump could end up helping him politically. Observers say US Code Title 18 Section 2071 is superseded by the Constitution, which alone sets the eligibility criteria for the presidency. Some are even suggesting that if this all fails, they could just go right to trying to take out Trump physically. And I hear people talking they said the Democrats want this guy so bad that they wouldn't put assassination behind it. And, and I'm going to tell you something. Mm. They've tried impeachment. They've tried another impeachment. They've tried one investigation after another. This is about one thing. This is about stopping him from running in 2024. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not into conspiracies. I'm not into anti-government rhetoric. This is the first time in my lifetime that I would say I am deathly afraid for Donald Trump. I would not put assassination behind these people. The Biden White House claimed no prior knowledge of the raid, and if you believe that, you probably believe that Biden's cognitive capacity is comparative with the top tier of Mensa. And of course, this has everything to do with Democrats being in a blind panic over polls showing Trump beating Biden in 2024. Numbers which prove the January 6th show trial hearings are yet another ineffectual damp squib. A new video shows Biden struggling to put on his own jacket. <laughs> clearly becoming more and more incapable with each passing day. They could run a marshmallow up against Trump in the debates and it would probably perform better than Biden. In fact, Biden's bumbling idiocy is the perfect cover for a deeply vindictive regime. A deep state now brazenly trying to imprison its political adversaries as it lashes out in its final death rattle. But while rigged show trials and third world style purges are the Democrats' method of choice, establishment Republicans seem more concerned with winning a pointless moral argument. Oh, if only the despotic totalitarians would maintain ideological consistency and fairness like us. Let's just point out their hypocrisy and maybe they'll stop doing all this? Yeah, good luck with that. You'll regret weaponizing the FBI when the GOP gets into power. LOL, said the Scorpion, LMFAO. But what about Hunter Biden? What about it? Who cares? Why would Democrats care about optics when they're busy trying to lock up all the dissidents? GOP House Leader Kevin McCarthy told Attorney General Merrick Garland to quote, Preserve your documents. Ooh, I bet he shat his pants. Maybe he'll even have to attend a futile hearing. Lindsey Graham said the raid was 
problematic. Whoa, careful with that rash rhetoric there, Lindsay. Don't want to sound too extreme. If they can do it to a former president, imagine what they can do to you. They've already done it to Trump supporters, some of whom are still being tortured in jail as January 6th political prisoners. Rubio says never before in America has government power been used to persecute political opponents. Has he been living under a rock for the past five years? Half the people who helped elect Trump have been targeted for total destruction. Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell, meanwhile, hasn't even bothered to tweet about the raid. Not a single tweet. The likes of Paul Gossar and Marjorie Taylor Greene, on the other hand, two people repeatedly backstabbed and shunned by the Republican establishment, dared suggest that when Republicans, if ever, get back into power, they actually play the same game as the Democrats and get this, exercise their power while in office to target the people and agencies responsible for all this. Incredible, I know. Maybe if, somehow, Trump wins again, he won't appoint to high positions of power the very same people who want to sabotage and destroy him. Rubio and co are right about one thing, though. America is now a banana republic, a perfect mirror of tyranny. Lawlessness at the bottom, lawlessness at the top. A country where actual criminals are given total free reign and the truth tellers are demonized, persecuted and ultimately eliminated. Since 2016, the deep state hasn't tried to hide what it's doing. They want everyone to know what they're doing. To frighten any and all political opposition into cowed silence. To collectively monster tens of millions of Trump supporters as domestic extremists. To make their lives a misery. To make an example out of them. We already know all that, but the bigger question remains, are Republicans actually going to do anything about it? <laughs> It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.